Hi everybody, Robin here, back with more news. Just a few days ago, Toyota teased a close-up image of the new 4Runner. And, based on the time of year, I can only assume that we're looking at the next generation Toyota 4Runner that's going to come for the 2025 model year. This will be the sixth generation Toyota 4Runner, the fifth generation came out for the 2010 model year, so that means that it would have a 15 year run in this generation. Now, very little is known right now, but based on what Toyota did with the new Land Cruiser, I have a lot of suspicions on what direction they are gonna go. To start, this is exactly how Toyota teased the new Land Cruiser coming with a nice close up image and just like the 4Runner, the J200 generation of the Land Cruiser stuck around for well over a decade before it was replaced. Just like the Tundra, Sequoia, Tacoma, and Land Cruiser, I do think that this new 4Runner will also be built on the TNGA-F platform, which means that yes, the 4Runner will continue on as a body-on-frame vehicle. I also think that the 4Runner will take a step forward in terms of off-roading prowess, just as the Land Cruiser did, because we are in an era where off-roading and overlanding continues to just grow in popularity and shows no signs of slowing. So all of that might seem like relatively subtle changes, but I do think we will see some big changes. The biggest, I suspect, will come from the powertrain. Toyota will almost certainly ditch the long-running, naturally aspirated 4-liter V6 and probably replace it with some version of the turbocharged 2.4-liter i-forced engine. That's an inline four-cylinder engine. It could be a pure ICE engine like they offer in the Tacoma, or it could be the i Force Max, the hybrid version, which they do offer in both the Tacoma and the Toyota Land Cruiser or like the Tacoma, they might just offer both. Doing so would of course drastically improve the 16 miles to the gallon in the city, 19 miles to the gallon on the highway, 17 miles to the gallon combined fuel economy that the current 4Runner gets, according to the EPA at least. Finally, I do actually think the 4Runner will shrink a little bit because the Land Cruiser shrunk by several inches and I have a feeling that Toyota wants to maintain the 4Runner's baby brother status to the Land Cruiser. Again, I am only guessing here, but I promise I will share more as soon as I learn because the 4Runner is a hugely important nameplate that's been with us for decades and I'm just as curious as you are to see what its future will be. Okay, that's it for now. I'm Robin Warner. Thank you very much for watching.